Today is about listening, seeing, feeling, touching. Councilmember Gabe Albernoz was joined by community leaders and business owners in Silver Spring for his fourth of a series of tours, where he is meeting with regional service directors and others in the community to learn about each area's challenges and needs. The day started at the Black Lion Cafe on Fenton Street, one of the area's newest businesses. Um, I mean, it's barely the tour was led by Regional Service Director Jacob Newman, Silver Spring Urban District Operations Manager Carson Henry, as well as other staff. Is this is the utility work, Carson? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The walk and talk tour touched on hot button topics such as pedestrian safety, transportation, and the Purple Line construction on Bonifant Street which has financially impacted several small businesses, like Kefa Cafe. I would love to see with this purple light to really the different departments talk to each other to really make sure the small businesses that are contributed to downtown Silver Spring to stay. That's what I really would love to see. Despite some challenges, downtown Silver Spring is a thriving hub for growing businesses, with numerous exciting ventures opening their doors like citizens and culture. You're up in seven days a week. Ah, uh, six days. Sorry. Further enriching the area's entrepreneurial landscape and contributing to its economic growth. We started off in downtown Silver Spring, which is of course a very important commercial center and urban core of the region. Just another kind of cornerstone community gathering place here, Abyssinia. Right. There's so much opportunity and there's so much community in Silver Spring. The people, the residents, the businesses, um, everyone coming together and really celebrating what most people will say is our greatest asset and that's our cultural diversity. After the tour in downtown Silver Spring, the group headed to El Golfo in Long Branch to discuss issues related to economic development, transportation, and public safety, among other things. We have homeless people. Several community partners, including members from the Long Branch Business League, Montgomery Housing Partnership, and the Silver Spring Citizens Advisory Board were present. Jacob has done an outstanding job of helping to show us in real time what's happening in the greater Silver Spring community, but particularly in the urban district and here in Long Branch. And we saw the challenges with regards to the Purple Line and uh, the transition that the community has had to go through. So today is about finding out what's happening and seeing what we as a council can do uh, to amplify the message and working with our state and other government partners to see what we can do to help. District 4 Council Member Kay Stewart also joined the conversations and tour. There are so many opportunities we have in our community and part of the reason we have so many opportunities is because we have great partnerships. We have great partnerships between our county government, our businesses, our residents and our nonprofits. And working together we have seen real gains in supporting our residents and our local businesses. Unfortunately we also have some challenges here in the area um, and while we're all very excited for the Purple Line coming through the construction of the Purple Line is a real challenge for our community and I am glad that we were able to kind of highlight some of those challenges and the need that our, our local businesses and residents have um, as we work through uh, the Purple Line. Councilmember Albernoz will finish meeting with other regional service directors in the coming weeks. Reporting from Silver Spring, I'm Rasha Sahalu.